Hey, Dad, I wonder if we'll see anyone we know at the carnival today. Daddy, that's my friend AJ and his dad. Hi, Samantha. Are you going to the carnival too? Yep, I can't wait. Me neither. Hey, AJ, look, that school is a lot bigger and nicer than ours. Yeah, they probably don't even have to share rulers and markers in class like we do. And their playground looks brand new. A lot of things in this neighborhood look different from our neighborhood. That's true, AJ. Some neighborhoods look different than others and have different resources, too. What are resources? Resources are things like hospitals, schools, stores, parks, and restaurants. There are different types of resources in every neighborhood. Some communities have less resources than others, or resources that aren't as nice. The types of resources in the places where we are born, live, learn, work, play, and worship affect both our quality of life and our health. We call these social determinants of health, and they can be grouped into five major categories. Economic stability means people are able to afford things like healthy food, health care, and safe housing. Employment or job programs, career counseling, and availability of childcare can help increase economic stability in communities. People with higher levels of education are more likely to be healthier and live longer. But some children live in places with poorly performing schools, and many families can't afford to send their children to college. Programs to help children and adolescents do well in school and help families pay for college can also help people be healthier in the long term. All people should have access to quality health care. Increasing health insurance coverage helps make sure more people get the health care services they need, like preventive care, including screenings and ongoing treatment for illnesses. Everyone should be able to live in a safe neighborhood where it is easy for them to make healthy choices. Safe and healthy neighborhoods have access to parks and safe sidewalks for walking and recreation, access to stores where healthy food is always affordable and available, and safe and reliable transportation. People's relationships and connections with family, friends, co-workers, and community members can have a major impact on their health and well-being. Programs and policies to help people have the social and community support they need are important for supporting health and well-being. Hey, we're here! I'm glad the carnival is a resource we can enjoy. Social determinants of health are connected and related to each other. Together, all of these things will help improve the overall health of people. By working together, we can help ensure everyone has access to the necessary resources and support they need to be as healthy as possible. Learn more, take action, make a difference. Visit cdc.gov slash health equity to learn more.